news, everyone! I've invented a time travel card game. That's right, Marty, this is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life! It's Back to the Future, the card game! Come on, I'll show you how it works! See this, this, this is what makes the time travel card game possible. This is the timeline of changeable history. As you can see, it features important events from all three movies, starting with the Old West in 1885 in the top row, all the way down to the distant year of 2015. The first thing you gotta understand is that you are from the future. I know this is heavy, but you gotta do something about your parents and your grandparents. Someone has been going back in time and changing history, your history, and you must change it back or else you will cease to exist. In the future, everyone works for a gigantic corporation called Cusco. This is your ID card. And see, it tells you who you are. So in this case, you are Vern Brown, son of the famous inventor, Dr. Emmett Brown. So if you are Vern Brown, you need to change history by going back to 1985 and making sure that Emmett Brown does not get killed by Libyan terrorists. This will ripple backwards in time so that in, in 1885, Doc Brown arrives in the Old West. He then can prevent Clara Clayton from dying by falling into that ravine, avoid getting shot by the blacksmith, causing him to be arrested for robbery instead of murder, allowing the, the school teacher and the blacksmith to get married, and causing Clayton uh, uh, Ravine to be renamed Eastwood Ravine. There are ten different characters you could be, including Marty McFly the third and Tiffany Tannen. Tiffany Tannen is a, def is a descendant of Biff Tannen and for her future reality to exist we need for Biff Tannen to get his hands on Gray's Sports Almanac. If he does and he can give it to himself in 1955 then that'll cause all kinds of ripples down the line. In when he turns 21 he'll win big at the racetrack He'll engineer the murder of George McFly and get away with it. He'll, mur he'll marry Lorraine. He'll open that casino. And, of course, he'll get Emmett Brown committed. So how do you change history? Well, sometimes you can just hitch a ride when somebody else does. But most of the time, you're going to need a time machine. Okay. Check out these beauties. We've got your basic plutonium-powered time car, which you have to discard some sort of plutonium to make it work. Then there's the lightning-powered DeLorean, which you need to know when there's going to be a stroke of lightning in order to make that thing work. Then there's the top-of-the-line, fully-equipped flying DeLorean, which has an onboard Mr. Fusion and works great. Then there's the, uh, the older model, the, uh, the old clunker that spent 70 years in a cave and needs some repairs. You're going to have to discard something to make that thing work. And then lastly, there's the, uh, the, the, the last run time machine, the one that needs to be pushed up to 88 miles an hour by an overpowered locomotive. And the, speaking of trains, the best one on the lot is the time train. Everybody wants to rewind that time train again. Once you've rewritten history to be the way you need it to be, there's one final twist. You need to go back in time to November 5th, 1955, and prevent Doc Brown from ever inventing the flux capacitor. Of course, that's not necessarily as easy as it might seem. Things will prevent you from doing it a bunch. But when you succeed in causing him never to create the time machine, that ends the game, and if you've got the reality set the way you need it to be, you win! Back to the future. It's the greatest time travel story ever told, and now it's the coolest time travel game ever made. Looney Labs! Back to the future of the card game. Get your copy now.